It's, I think it's hot. So today we're going to talk about Maxwell relations. And we're going to start with where we left off, which was on our transforms to derive new state functions. And then we're going to use those state functions to derive new interrelationships, interdependencies between all the different thermodynamic variables that you may or may not be able to measure directly. To do this, we use a very common, very basic um, property from multivariable calculus. And this is a commutative property, which means that it doesn't really depend when you take in second derivatives of a, of a function of multivariables, it doesn't depend on the order of what you take these derivatives. So we can write this up here in this corner in this way. Partial with respect to x of some function f with respect to y, if f is a function of x and y, we'll, we'll take the first derivative here, you keep the x fixed, second time we take the y fixed, and this is equal to partial respect to y is x fixed, partial f respect to x, keeping y fixed. It's a very basic rule. It just means you can change the order in which you differentiate functions, take the derivative of functions. Put that in this box here. Now we're going to apply it to derive Maxwell relations. We'll start with the equation for internal energy. On page of one of the books, it's an E, or in the book um, uh, by Sandler and company, it's a U for internal energy, and we know that this uh, can be written down as TDS minus PdV plus mu dNi, or the summation over all mu i's and dNi's. It doesn't really matter at this point. For now, let's just consider a one component system, in which case these mu's will just be left without uh, uh, an index. But this can be easily extended to more than one variable if you have more uh, additional components, uh, species in your system. So, starting with the U, what we do to get to Maxwell relations is just use this property. And it, let's just write this out, and then we'll actually solve for it. So, partial with respect to S with V and N constant times partial E with respect to V holding S and N constant must be equal to partial with respect to V holding S and N constant partial E with respect to S holding V and N constant. So in order to evaluate this, we first must take the derivative of what's inside of the parentheses here. So let's do this real quick. We have partial E respect to partial v, s comma n fixed equals what? Well, s fixed, the s is zero, n fixed, the n is zero, de, dv equals minus p. On the other side here, we have partial e with respect to s with v fixed. Partial, partial e with respect to s is equal to t, v is fixed, zero, n is uh, fixed, that's also zero. So partial e with respect to S, V comma N equals T. To finish the Maxwell relationship from this uh, differential form of state function for energy, to substitute in minus P here and T here, and well, finally, you arrive at the relationship. Partial with respect to partial S, V comma N fixed of DE dV at constant S is going to be equal to minus P equals partial with respect to V, constant S, comma N, of T. And that is one Maxwell's relationship. We can rewrite this in more compact form right here. We have minus del P del S equals del T del V. And of course, this is with respect to constant V and N, with respect to constant S and N. That concludes this first tape of uh, how, to do different, how to arrive at one of the Maxwell relationships. Following up in the next couple of videos, we're going to work through the other examples.